since I've done a video. I just wanted to give a quick update. We've had quite a lot going on uh, between my, I've been having migraines because whenever it's a seasonal change, I get migraines. And then we've just had some personal family stuff going on. So it's been quite a while since I have done a video update about our homeschool life and curriculums and all that fun stuff. So if you are new here, my name is Kristen. I'm a mom of three. I am homeschooling three kids and it gets pretty hectic. <laughs> So one of the cool things we have been doing for the past two months is that my oldest son has been actually using Moving Beyond the Page. I know I said I didn't want to go back to that before, but I did. I went back to it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. They have a really awesome science curriculum. Um, we started to do the language arts portion of Moving Beyond the Page too. that went along with the science, but I ended up not doing it just because his reading level is way higher and it was just, he already knew about Ben Franklin. What we did was magnetism and electricity. So I know before, I've, in the past, I was like, oh yeah, I'm moving me on the page, you know, they got, he got bored with it and it just was too many modifications and all that stuff. However, since he got diagnosed with dysgraphia over the summer, I've had some mindful accommodations. And since it was the only thing he was doing, so I considered it a part of language arts because he was doing handwriting, it was a lot easier for him to just kind of just work on this solo. He has had a major interest lately in electricity and magnetism. He's always playing with magnets. He's always having fun with it. So. I'll put a video somewhere up here while I talk of some of the things that him and his father were doing. It is not my, uh, what do I want to say? It's not my expertise or my, uh, I don't know. I don't know very much about electricity and magnetism. So his father was doing more of the hands-on experiments with him and then I was doing like the bookie stuff because that's more along the lines of where I'm at. So it actually went really good. The only thing is, is because he's super, super into it, um, the experiments weren't fun enough for him. He wanted something with a little bit more oomph and a little bit more bang. So that's where his father came into play. They made um, like a, a charging crank thing where it's like a hand charger so they built it together they're also going to be building um, something else I forget what it's called like I said this is my level of uh, expertise um, his father is a diesel mechanic and he's just unbelievably bright when it comes to mechanical anything figuring out how to build things I mean they built a computer together for crying out loud I don't know how to do any of that. My thing is, is I break it and he fixes it. So <laughs> that's that's where I am in there. So anyways, we did ele electricity and magnetism and actually we were reading this book. It's from Usborne and it's absolutely fantastic. The level of just what it goes into and explaining things. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. If you've never had Usborne, please get it because they, all their books are beautiful. They're fantastic. They're very educational. So he's been reading the Usborne books and then he has these worksheets every now and then or experiments that I did with him that were the lame experiments. But I mean, we still had fun. And he would fill it out and write, and it, it was all good. I mean, it wasn't what his dad would do with him, but you know, it was something we could do together. I think for 99% of kids, this would have been sufficient enough. Um, but this has been a high interest for him for a long time, so he already knows a lot about it. And I just wanted to work on individual skills with high interest. So I wanted to work on research 
him being able to research independently. I wanted to work on handwriting. I wanted him to work on spelling. So all these things I wanted to work on in a high interest that made it not feel like school. And it, I think that for the past month it really worked. I mean, I think he learned an incredible amount. I learned an incredible amount. It was fun, it was great. I don't know, I liked it, it had fun. So what I think I'm gonna do for the future is I'm not going to go 100% back into moving beyond the page. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whatever he's having a really, really high interest in, wherever the wind takes us, I'm going to get individual little mini units from them, um, depending on what it is. I might either do gather round or moving beyond the page, depending on if I want it to be secular and what it'll cover and what the depth level just it'll it's all gonna depend I mean I'm all over the place for curriculums I just try to find ones that my kids enjoy at the moment in the moment and it makes me everywhere we're still doing the good and the beautiful for language arts and math that's going great. I still want to do Book Shark because it's secular for history, because I want an unbiased global worldview. Um, I know I've said we're Christian, and I don't mind Christian, I don't mind having our religion in like language arts or something, but when it comes to science and history, I really want to have a secular approach because we do have a church we go to so I'm not concerned with ha our faith being mixed in with our schoolwork because we do have a church that we are a part of they have Sunday school work and I'd prefer having that separate I think at this point in time now speaking of <laughs> Speaking of faith and having it separate, have I shown you? Gather around. We did this last year, but we only did the first four because we did it super late. Um, so we only got through the first four, whatchamacallit. I apologize for the inability to think of words. At this point in time, I'm switching medications. My mental health lately has been awful, so my doctor put me on a new medication. So I'm switching from one medication to another medication, and it's making my brain just very slow and not want to function, and I can't think of the words for things, so I apologize if I'm not able to think of words and pausing a lot. <laughs> so anyways, I will probably show you a flip through in a different video. I'm going to have another one, but I'm just going to talk about gather around. Um, so we made it through the first four lessons last year because we did it really, really late in this season. Um, it was gifted to me by a really wonderful woman who found out that I had went from being atheist to Christian and so she wanted to do something nice for me and she gifted me this curriculum and it was so sweet of her. Um, she gave me a gift card and I bought it. And so this year I really want to use it yet again because we didn't get to finish it last year and I don't think that they really remembered any of it. So I have the teacher's guide and then we have pre-reader for my three-year-old, early reader for my five-year-old, which he is not actually reading. Um, I'll do another post about that situation going on with him. I think he might have dyslexia like me. So we're going to have to have a very different approach to how he's learning his letters and sounds because we've been trying to do letters and sounds since he was about three years old and it's, he's having a very difficult time retaining anything. So I think the problem is that he just takes after me and he might have a look. A learning disability he already has autism so I think he might have another learning disability on top of that um, I didn't learn how to read personally 
until I was around third grade where I started to really learn how to read. Um, but that's a whole other, <laughs> that's a whole other story. See, I'm all over the place. Um, so anyways, I got him the early reader because I want him to be able to see me write his answers for him so that he can continue to get more comfortable with seeing sight words and seeing words and seeing me write out his thoughts on paper. And then I have the middle school for my oldest, which actually when I start doing gather round, if I get other units, I'm actually not going to do middle school because I found out it's higher age group than him so I'm probably gonna do upper elementary after this I didn't mind with this because it, this is a more of like a fun month while we build up to Christmas oh and also if you haven't checked out um my father's world I'm on their email list because I would like to try their curriculum one day um they gave out a free little what do you call it advent calendar there we go they gave out a free advent calendar so we're gonna be doing that to work up to Christmas and I plan on having December just be super fun I just I don't want to do too crazy work we're gonna do math and language arts still and then we'll also be doing the gather around Christmas because I think it'll just be a nice little break the kids are just dragging their feet. They don't want to do school anymore. So I think that it's just something that we're going to have fun with and enjoy. And yeah. Oh, check out. I got a little Santa Christmas mug <laughs> for my coffee. It makes me so happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a little quick update. I will do a separate video if you are interested. I will link it um, of the gather around Christmas unit. I will I will do a flip through, but I'm gonna put that in another video so that if you want to see that, you can click on that video. If not, then you know it's totally fine. If you want, I can also do a quick flip through of moving beyond the pages science. Um, it's very wordy. I mean, there's some worksheets in there that you might be interested in seeing, but I mean, the it's not it's not crazy visual like gather around and the good and the beautiful and stuff like that. So, um, all their papers are in black and white and stuff. So I can do a quick flip through. Um, the content is good in it. It's just it's not as flashy, I guess you could say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I'm all over the place and I hope you guys have an amazing upcoming December. Also, we got our first snow, so that's exciting. Um, my kids woke me up at seven in the morning and immediately went outside and they were outside for like two hours. <laughs> so there's that. All right, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.